Greetings everybody, this is Siobhan, the Celtic Empaths. I've literally just grabbed, literally, the five minutes of sunshine that we have, are seem to be getting so far today because the weather here has been absolutely, ridiculously psychotic. Um, which leads me into what I want to talk about, which is about negative technology. So I am an aura hypnosis practitioner, past life regressionist. I practice Ra Reiki. I'm Oracle, Akashic reader. And we, I have recently did a past life regression session with a client where we were removing negative te technology. Now, this isn't a new thing. We're always doing this in aura hypnosis because our past life regression sessions are not specifically just past life. We do a regression and we go deep. So we look at the negative side, uh, looking at infringement, negative in all of its different forms, which today is the form of negative technology. And what is negative technology? Well, in this client's aura session, I have edited out a 10 minute section of where we were dealing really efficiently with removing some negative technology from her home. So negative technology often comes up in the forms of implants. That would be the most common form that we would understand it as. So when we go into aura hypnosis, we're also deeply, deeply healing the person, the soul, the higher self. And this is the clearing work, the clearing of the shadow work. It's the clearing of our karma, the clearing, the clearing that needs to be done from our past lives that is really difficult. We find it really hard when we come here as humans to clear off our karma. And most of us end up repeating and repeating and we keep getting stuck in these karmic cycles. And even though, okay, the karmic cycle is actually a false system, it's a false uh, loop, but we keep propagating it, but that's another long story. The negative technology part is on my website. The higher self gives permission for it to be hosted on my website, not on YouTube, which is why I'm putting this video up today. So briefly, the client came to me. She, the backstory is she had invited a small group of people that she considered to be friends, acquaintances into her home. And they had invited an individual to come and do a talk uh, within the home. So it was a nice, small, personal, private, social gathering within within the house. Um, so nothing too unusual about that. But this, the topic of the talk, okay, turned out not to be exactly what they thought the topic was going to be about. So that was one thing. And the energy in the client's home after the group left, she felt that the energy, the vibration in her home had changed. She felt that there was a strange, uncomfortable vibration, a feeling of unease within her home and it wasn't sitting well with her. And she found that there was one room in her house that she didn't want to be in. And prior to that, this client's home was lovely and clear, lovely and light, and it was her space and it had her clear energy in it. So she tried a number of different methods to remove this energy. Nothing worked, so that's when we did our aura session. And the client's higher self, because she's so tuned in and such a clear channel herself, and so tuned in to both the negative and the positive vibrations, because both exist together, okay? So we can't say that like we only believe in one or the other, that we only give credence to one or the other, that you can only just be love and light and you know, love and light cancels out everything else if you have enough love and light. That's not reality, as far as I'm concerned. You, we can live parallel, <laughs> but there is, I mean, there is the whole idea of frequency and vibration and raising our vibrations existing within the same energies and not being affected by it, okay. But this negative technology came in the form of listening technology that we found within her house. And it was in the room and it was connected into her technologies. So it was actually listening to her, listening to her conversations, listening in on her life. And she could feel this, this vibe within her home that something wasn't right. So we cleared that from the home, we cleared it from all of her mobile phones, all of her computer equipment and whatnot. But this is one interesting form of technology, negative technology, that was something new 
that I'm aware of looking glass technology, I'm aware of listening devices, but this technology was attached to an individual that came into the home. And this person was being used by a certain organization, knowing that this individual would be going around publicly, meeting large groups of people and private and working individually at people. This sinister energy was attached to him and he's going around, oh, I just said he, it's a he. This person's going around the place uh, and then this energy is attaching into all the various different locations. So that's one example of negative technology. So that's on my website. Um, it's a, like a 10 minute clip. It was unbelievably fast how quickly she detected it and cleared it. And remember there was no fear involved because the higher self was straight in there and that's what we do in Aura. So if you want to see it, the links are all down below. Thank you for listening. If you listened to me this thus far, Sloan August Gurve Milamakat.